now. You can't be offended it. by taking There's an offer. In it, How were you offended now. by having an offer? No. I'm not ready for this. How much are you games down there, mate? Um, shoot, a couple of my own, I'll just give you a little quad. Two quid? Here you go, mate. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thank you. Where's he gone? He's what about these ones here, mate? Uh, yeah, go on. House clearance? Do you do house clearances? That's good, no, that's good. My lot, you're, you're my favourite stalls. <laughs> <laughs> I got all stalls coming out, yeah. Mate. Yeah, lovely. Any more, any sort of like, any more sort of. I don't know. Could carry you, mate? No, no worries. No worries. No worries. I understand that. Yeah. Have a look. See what else you got, mate. Yeah, I'm out. What about the teddy, mate? Teddy, oh, that like couple of quid. Yeah, yeah. I'll, that can bend out, but um, yeah. I'll chuck that in two quid for both. There you go. Hey, how you doing, my friend? Hey, man, how's it going? Thanks, mate. Yeah, yeah man. Still it. So I love you guys, but you're supposed to spend a lot of time in your stall. Oh, that's how I saw it. I saw it, mate. It's Lovely, I appreciate it. This one's for you, Mop. Well, that's the first lot done. This is honestly still the best thing that I've ever been shown by another reseller is the bag thing. Even though I've completely messed up the putting it in job. Car boot Chris showed me this. I think it was car boot Chris. I think it was, I'm not too sure. It was one of them. So you put all your bags inside each other so you can just, oh, I've screwed it up. There we go. Put all your bags inside each other. You can just take it out, dump it off, and go again. But I'm going to leave. <laughs> off to the next one. Fucking big old queue before our fight. This one's busy today. I've already got a bag full of stuff, so I can just chill. I can just chill. Oh, that's alright. Thank you. Exactly, mate. You're not going to be able to Arrivederci. Everything's good. 
Sorry, no, let me get your way. How much is this, mate? Uh, she's on eBay at the moment. Finishes oh, is it? Tuesday, three fifty at the moment. Three hundred and fifty. No worries. You, you, you're mad bringing it here, then? Yeah, I know it shouldn't have been in the van. It just had to be there. Oh. I was offered four hundred on it last week on the beat. Should it's have in the van, so I just sort of bring it in. This is good. It's a Franklin Mint one, isn't it? Well, I, uh, it's the best. It's very top quality. I've got all the pound notes in there. Yeah. And the bag in here and the silver and gold um, houses and pieces. I think, no, I've only just got it. it shows it. Think of all those fees. What about 100 quid cash? What about 100 quid cash? 100 quid cash for what it. For that? Yeah. Leave it out. Oh, all right. That's 600 quid worth. Oi, yeah. I've, got, I've got to ask you, ain't I? Not really. You don't of course I have. That offends me, that does. That'd be silly. Oh, can't, you, you, can't be in a, you can't be in a selling game if you're offended by offers. Oh, I'm offended by 100 pounds <laughs> for a 600 pound item. You show me at 600 pound and I'll you believe you. Long, I, re I, 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 reckon, show you. I reckon there's 400 in it. Go on eBay. I reckon there's 400 in it. Okay, then you can't, 350 now. You can't be offended it. by taking there's an offer. There's 400 in it. How were you offended now? by having an offer? You're, that's bizarre. Read the mind. That's, I'm not offended. It's a joke. That's, 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 you understand that's, jokes? That's bizarre, mate. Uh, you are bizarre, aren't you? You're a madman. Yeah. Accept the board. Don't give him an offer. Well, we're going to do a very quick cut here. As you can see from the screenshot here, the bloke has seen one cell for 600, which has got new and sealed contents and thinks that's what he's gonna get. When in actual fact, the average selling price of these is about two to two and a half hundred quid. So me telling him it was worth 400 was actually, you're naked. No, 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 don't. Is that, thanks, for the, thanks, for the, thanks for the present, is that a... Oh, stinks. Me offering 400 was actually quite generous, so, um... Ada, Ada, <laughs> Bum. Daddy, get in the <laughs> back to the video. I'll we'll have to come back and have a little dive in there, boy. Got, got plenty, though. And this, yeah, this, this right? is Freddy. Freddy. Yeah, Freddy, that's it. Not, <laughs> I was sitting there, because obviously, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't ever remember names, man. Well, not, you got a Burberry tea on there? It's decent. Is it, good, is, it good, is it good for me? Yeah, I, names, names... Names takes a while for me to uh, try and remember. Have you been to Polyfield? What, today? Yeah. No, I went to um, Borden today. Um, well, this thing. A bit boring for me, that one. Check. I went to um, Borden today, this morning. Yeah. What size is the Pidgey? Smaller or medium. How much are you asking for it? Yeah, it's too small for me. I'll come and have a root soon, man. Freddy. Freddy. What is that? It's almost on the science fiction film, isn't it? Same sort of times, isn't it? Does that not stay on, though? It should do. Go the other way. Am I being, am I being thick, though? No, I don't know. I don't know. No, you might have had it the right way the first time, though. Is that where the batteries go? No, no, no. It's not actually plain, isn't it? I think something might be broken off it. It'd look nice as, as a display in a shop. Yeah. How much is it? One of the for it, mate. I'll leave it for a five, but it's a good little piece, though. Looks yeah. good. Uh, pound, pound a pair, mate. What about the radio? Two quid. Yeah, we've passed it on the team, Phil. Oh, yeah. from the 80s, isn't it? Yeah, our boots one. Um, would you do a fiver for the both? Uh, go on him. Yeah, 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 I'm all good, mate. Oh, yeah. Lovely stuff. I'll, I'll pop it there. Right I used to be a barber. Yeah, lovely, uh, sort of thing to display, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think there's anything, I don't think there's anything collectible about it, mate, not at all, but, yeah. uh, 
What have you got on you, mate? What did I say? Five. Five, yeah. I mean, I've got a 20, you can find out. I don't, know if, I don't know what I've got here. No, I've definitely not got that. No, I've got yeah, 10. Throw that in, boy. Throw that change in you and take it away. You sure? Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're Good right. old boy, man. Nice one. I appreciate it. Right, I'll see you soon, man. Yeah, decent. That was about three pound in change. These badges? Yes, all from the How much are they? I don't know. Oh god, I don't know. A quid I'd pay probably. I'll take a couple of quid for Two quid? Yeah. Two quid will kill some time later, won't it? Yeah. Grilling around. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're back again for another season. Oh, yes. You've got no men's clothes left, have you? I've got a few bits up there. Have you? Shirts, shorts, jackets. Oh. Very small amount of that now. I, I used to love it, you had loads of it. Well, I saw that, yeah, I can't That's not where, yeah, it, it well, like, well, well, no, you need to save some. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yeah, it makes sense. Something will turn up. Nice one. Glad you're back. You're all right. Size six. I think they have to turn five and a half to six. Just looking for 20 apiece on the watches. I know they're not in the back. Not my style, mate. Yeah. Thank you, though. Same here. Thank you, though, man. <laughs> I want, like, I want like a big, big face one. Doesn't even have to be. Not this one. Let's have a look. Let me come around. Oh, yeah, what? Well <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, sorry, you around. I was only taking That's all right. <laughs> How much you got on this? 30 quid. 30 quid for a lot. Well, well, all the games. But we don't have the. Um, Just these power cable. cable. Don't work, though. I don't know what games are. Sorry. Did you say five for a pump? Yeah. 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 Nice one, thank you. Actually, be valuable. Also pound. So those are no, now it says Versace pounds. on it. It's definitely two, but you might be getting the deal of the day. I have no idea. Well, <laughs> I have you absolutely. Three. Three pounds in. Well, I think Versace is probably just. Yeah. I have. I don't know. You're going to go home and Google it, and it might be. It might be your lucky day. <laughs> I should have done it before I left. It's my own lucky day. That's what it is. <laughs> Yet, Freddie. No, there is three right. sets in there. <laughs> you're all right, you're all right. Very good at I don't How much is the recorder? I'll take it. I've got tapes. I thought, I thought I'd pass it on, give us some... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, nice one. Thank you, Bill, yeah. Same with the walkman, thanks for that as well. Oh, no. I had loads of change this morning. 
Got plenty of these there, mate. Nice one, dude. Do you have any more electrical stuff? That's alright, that's alright. Don't you worry. Thank you very much. What's that we got? What we got here? No. How much is the t-shirt? Trying to work out what size is it medium. Not fair. I've never heard it. Oh, is it a band? Is it what? I like, I like all them. I'll take that. Yeah, smashing. Yeah. Nice one. All right. Oh, throw them all away. You can, when you find that, it's yours. Thank you. Right. I've never seen one like that before. <laughs> yeah. It could be yours, but minuscule. <laughs> no, I'd break a leg. I'd break an ankle. How much are these ones? Three. Yeah, they're six. Oh, six. They'll be a bit small for you. Yeah, not thinking of them for me, so we're all right. You know, I bought them because I'm I. I've got a five and a half one foot and six the other. So. So you. Because I used to play football when I was little. Oh. And, and this one's too tight on the, the right foot. So got you. Sorry, on the left foot. Yeah, Crocs are perfect for you. Yeah, see one foot different to the other. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll take them. Three, yeah? Yeah. I think they'd probably be the same in a charity shop. I often go to just wander around the charity shop when it's raining. Oh, I don't blame you. Me too. Well, yeah, because if you've got to wait for the bus and everything. There you go, and there's plenty of change for you to do with your car boot as well. Oh, cheers, mate. Thank you. No worries, appreciate it. You see that car I Let's go, mate. Is that what you got this morning? The Wii Resort? No. <laughs> that noise. <laughs> Just got a. Oh, these? Yeah. Well, this morning? No, no, they were last week. These are from last week. Here you go. The camera's on now. We can actually see. We can see what we got left. So, what did you get this morning? Super Nintendo Mini. Yeah, yeah. For twenty pounds. I know they sell for about seventy. Doesn't matter if you want it as well. No, matter. I've got one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, a load of games, PS4 controller, white one. Who's so them? A few, few yeah, nothing like major retro then today. No, no. That. Come on, it's not to me. It's got 12 quid on it. Oh. This is a uh, special edition. Oh, Dave. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm increasing the sales lot. Yeah. <laughs> I got. Four watches on them at the moment. Yeah, you will, they'll sell, especially if you do them a little bonus yeah. at home. Yeah, a bit of cotton bud in the vintage, corner. Donatello. Nice. Pokemon. Yeah, you've done well, man. Is, that, uh, I think, is, your, is your Nes the best pickup? Oh, your yeah, I would have thought so, yeah. Oh, I've some pretty good PS3 games. So I've there. got loads of white, I've got loads of Wii games, PS3 games, um, and other stuff today. Yeah. Any, any that sort of thing? Obviously, it depends on what it is. Yeah, have you got it in the car? Yeah. Shall I come and have a look? If you I want. I need to go to the toilet anyway. Yeah, so. it's not bad, it's not bad either. I'm going to get some chips. Come and have a look, I've got, yeah. I got cash. Over. Oh, and I've got this. It's all in there as well. Oh, nice. you got the wand in there as well? Yeah, it's all in there. 
Have you done well there? The guy, the guy that sells all the old stuff, hit this guy over here. Oh yeah, I like him. Yeah, this morning he picked up a Atari 2600 with a load of games, but I think he overpaid for it because he paid 50 quid for it. Fair enough. Um, yeah, like I said to you before, I normally sit down and do my listing on eBay and put you on and yeah, just yeah, listen yeah. to you in the background. background yeah, yeah, same. That's what I do with yeah. other people. And also, like, I, not just you, I, I watch the Yorkshire Picker as well. I love all them, like, yeah, Yorkshire Picker sound. There's a few, there's a few good ones out there. Yeah, I, I watch, watch a lot of it and, like, you know, you learn stuff that you don't know about. Yeah. So, uh, Playmates. Playmates. Yeah, I keep thinking about saying that. I mean, it is missing a couple of bits off of it. Oh. I was there 45 minutes just left. Look at that, that's quite a good one. Yeah, yeah I haven't had a chance to look anything up yet, so feel free to have oh, a look. Yeah, yeah. Feel free to have a nines. Oh, what I picked up today? Yeah, Today, what did I get today? Here's the Mario Kart, and that. Oh, yeah, I saw them, obviously. Now, pick this up, look. Oh, it is. Oh, it's a data bank. I thought it was a phone. Bastards, power bank. I know somebody's gonna get that. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I won't bother with the Mario's because I'll just resell them anyway. I'm just checking if there's anything that I need. That's right, man. For the collection. To get me a nice McDonald's, yeah. <laughs> I can't get ash browns, it's too late, isn't it? Is it half 11, isn't it? Now, yeah, what time's it now? It's got to be, it's got to be 11, isn't it? No, half nine, half nine, half nine. Half nine. Shut nine, up, mate. yeah. It's because it's because I started early, isn't it? This morning, no, I don't think there's nothing there for me, mate. That's all right, mate. Exactly. I just saw it because she said it was a quid, so I was like, I'll have it. Yeah, that's pretty cool, yeah. But when I get home later on, I'll have a proper look anyway. And if, yeah. if there's anything that stands out, you put it on your videos yeah. anyway, don't you? So yeah, yeah that's old. I know, yeah, that's, that's, that's decent. That. Uh, 1972. Paid three quid for that. Yeah, unfortunately, nothing for me. Like I said, I would buy them, but I'm only going to resell them myself yeah, anyway. Is, so. Yeah. The Flintstones Knickerbocker Fred 1972. So without it, it's. 12 good. Box yeah. Still sealed in there and he won't no, fall he out. Pulls, he pulls out. Oh, does he? Yeah. yeah these, these, if you ever see these, these are a touch. This is a lower, okay. this is a lower model, but um, I'll, I'll get 25 for that in the box, pay the pound. There's, because it's a, I sold one a little while ago for 250, a silver one. Yeah. The higher the number, the better. Okay. So when you start seeing like E3 800, E59000, whatever, whatever, whatever. I look out for them now. You, um, <laughs> you start, yeah, you do well from them. But, yeah, I don't know if you've got any more. I don't know if there's any more games hidden underneath anywhere. No, I did have a good idea. Box on each. She said, oh, she wanted five quid for this and a pound each on the DS games. I said, I'll give you 10 quid for the lot without even testing it. It's worth it without testing, isn't it? Yeah. Does it, does it switch on? Oh, no. Got charger? Yeah, got chargers, I've got loads of chargers. It's worth it, it's worth it. Yeah, I was, I was looking the boxes and wires because you find Nintendo chargers. And yeah, stuff Nintendo like chargers. Well, don't they? But, yeah, it's all right. It was nothing like. So this, this was cool. Walt Disney baby pocket mm. cushions, it's soap. <laughs> Mental. Yeah, I've got um. But I like what you like. Yeah, I, it, with all my turtle figures and that, I've got soap and bath soap. Sets. Yeah, and it, it's, the soap is in the shape of their shells. It, Again, I just bought it because it looked like it was a bit more than a cheap one. But it's still pretty cheap. That goes thirty quid. That does. Isn't it? It's Blu-ray, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Right, cheers, Ricky. Yeah, no worries, man. That's alright. That's alright. You're not coming back in for another go round. No, I can't be asked. Enjoy. Yeah, of course. <laughs> cheers, Pat. See you soon, man. Here we go. <laughs> right, for those of you that cannot count, that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hash browns. I believe Project Games has set the tone for six. Now, I can't have that happen, can I? We've got seven here. If you want to move forward in life, mate, next week I need you to, I need you to do eight, and I'm going to need to see some proof at the end. Not like just the food is fine. The pack. In fact, I'll take your word for it. Let's catch it on. Hopefully, there was some GoPro footage there. We are back home. And I've got the hall spread out today. 
I went around the car boot sales. I've been to two car boot sales today and I felt really accomplished. I've got lots of stuff. I've got home and I've got barely anything. I really don't know what's going on. I've spent money. I filled up bags. Now the bags, there's just nothing here. So I'm not too sure what I've done. I've checked the car. There's nothing else in there. I don't know. I've no idea. I have no idea. I'm like, let's not completely miss it. Well, apparently that's it. But, I mean, it's not like completely terrible. This stuff. But, anyway. So I'm going to run through and show you what I picked up. And, as always, tell you what I think I'm going to get for it. If I know, I'll give you a price. If I don't know, I'll give you an estimate. All right, so on the camera, you'll see that there was a lady. The first thing that I picked up, in fact, the first thing I picked up was this genuine Kawasaki fleece um, attire. Fleece attire. Oh, there's some more stuff there. I didn't realise that. Kawasaki fleece, genuine, not genuine, what's what I'm looking for? Official merchandise. 50 pence paid for that. On estimate, 20 odd quid, I should imagine. I don't know who this is. The chap said it was like an alternative grunge kind of brand. I paid a pound each for them because I just thought the graphics were quite cool. And if, if there's a bit of a following, people will know who they are and they won't hang around too long. Stay at that. And I picked this up because it's single stitch Valentino. Now I wasn't sure if it's if, if it is the Valentino. It's Valentino Vero. Oh, where's the label gone? Can't really see it though, can you? You will see it. So. I don't know if it's the Valentino, but I was going to pick it. I was always picking it up for a pound, weren't I? Little single stitch in this beach. Swear, if my family turned up again like last time. Right, then I picked up this bundle of DS games. I think about this many didn't come from that, that, that deal. But I picked up this, and let's say this many for £10. I've turned it on. It does turn on. It hasn't got a charger, but I need to get a charger for it um easy to find i imagine there's 25 quid back in the console alone i'm gonna bundle it with a hell of a lot of games of course so wasn't the best pickup really but it wasn't the worst either some of these games are okay but there's nothing that stands out whatsoever then i picked up a bunch of ds games with some this is all for the same bloke a house clearance guy I think I paid like for two quid for this bundle and then like three quid for this, this and a Lord of the Rings Blu-ray box set, which will see me back 30 quid. So uh, that's the media. I also picked up some bizarre things like these Tom Tom. Now, I haven't looked inside them yet. You've got the Tom Tom car kit, you've got a travel pack and you've got whatever that is. There's some, there is something in there. Bluetooth Tom Tom wire, Bluetooth Tom Tom wireless GPS receiver navigation software and maps the navigator too. I'm not sure, but I paid him two pound for that lot. Um, I really don't don't know the price on that. Um, some Tom Tom still sell well, some are just junk. They're on everyone's phones now, aren't they? All built into the car. And a Seco crossword solver. Everyone knows about these. Paid a pound for that. Looking at about twenty five, maybe twenty nine with the box, give or take. It's not the best one. Er three thousand isn't. The top one, ER3700, and the bigger the number, the better. It's not with most stuff, really. Uh, for the same guy I picked up, well, from the house clearance guy, this was all part of the bundle, part of a £3 bundle. Um, I picked it up mainly because it didn't look like it. Obviously, it still feels cheap and cheerful. Got full of water then. But it felt like it had something going on with it. I've put it on charge it's just to see what it does, really, so I've no idea. I think you sing into it. Obviously, but I think it records you as what I was trying to say. Hello? Um, My mic on. Oh, oh, look at that. Hello? 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 My hair, man. Right. Sounds a bit broken, doesn't it? What is going on? What? Yeah? <coughs> what? My mic. My mic disconnected. 
disconnected from what? <laughs> you boys got lungs. Oh. No idea what that's worth, probably about three pence. <laughs> this was a good idea. Um, then I picked up this lovely Vodafone branded power bank. I picked it up, but it caught my attention because it's got a nice little Vodafone bag and we all love Vodafone. Vodafone is the greatest network in the world. And inside was this little, all I saw was like, I'll show you. I thought I was being sneaky, but I got, I got done. All I saw was that. I thought, oh, it's one of them Vodafone phones. Like a little, some of them Vodafone phones you can go for good money, dumb money. Um, it's a power bank. It's a bank charger. Let me put this down. Just a power bank. That's it. Uh, I paid three quid, I think. <laughs> I think I haven't looked at the camera. I remember sitting down thinking, oh, God, it's not even what I think it was. Yeah. Picked up some vans, paid three quid for these because they look different. They're kind of rubbery. Um, anything vans that are different tend, tend to sell a bit better. They're a size women's 7.5, but a men's 6. It's actually Emma's size. Hopefully, just she doesn't like them. If she does, it's going to cost her £6 to buy them. Uh, Project games, are they all the same set? Yes, they're all the same set. I'm gonna sell Project Games some more Pokemon, hopefully. Matt takes all the bunk off me. He does well, he does very well. Um, 500 game, like an Amazon special. It's brand new and sealed in the box. It's got like a console plus a game pad. This was a pound, I've no idea what it's worth. Probably not a lot. So it's still sealed, got a fake boy there with a Fez controller there. Who knows? Sony Walkman with controller, controller, manual, and a slip strip. This is a swordfish, but it's got nothing, spe nothing special about it. Pad pound. If it's working, 25, 29 quid. Mm -hmm. Some more St. Michaels. This time we picked up four silver plated napkin rings nothing too spectacular about them but uh so these are marks and spencers this is 1993 so it's quite an older one um they've never been used they're in fantastic condition non they're, they're apparently they're coated with a non non tarnish coating so they can't tarnish um and there's there is no tarnishing on them there's me and me a real oval sort of shape yeah they're nice really nice they have been used by the look of it but they're in good condition. Uh, estimation on them, 15, 20 quid. I don't know, they could be more, could be less. Two brand new and sealed Advent Kids Dummies things. Uh, this was also part of another bundle that I put together. So these owe me, these owe me pennies. No idea, probably about a tenner for the pair. Maybe eight quid for one. I don't know, who knows, I'm not too sure. But for pennies, I was always going to pick them up. A lot of this stuff I hadn't researched, especially when I was doing because I was putting stuff together and making a bundle with people. This is awesome. So I picked up some cool bits, but nothing of major value. This is a Walt Disney Davy Crockett by Cushions, the soap manufacturer's soap bar. Look at that. Still smells of old. <laughs> but um, yeah, bizarre, isn't it? Got the box, got the insert. Value. Again, I don't know, 20, 25 quid. Paid two for it because I couldn't leave it behind because it was a bit funky and weird. Had to, had to grab it, didn't I? Sanyo Dictaphone. This is, is a talk book in this condition. 15 in a better condition because it's got a lot of deep scratches and stuff in it. In a better condition, 25, 30 quid. Paid a pound. Okay, I paid five pound for... This phonology skull, not skull, phonology bust, and that Elvis mirror. That was a nice vintage Elvis mirror. And that paid £5 for the pair. 
Don't know what the Elvis mirrors were. Probably not a lot to honest with you, but I can't help but pick those small mirrors up because they're easy to list, easy to pack, and they do sell quite quickly depending on what they are. Don't know if that one's going to do me very well though. Picked up these two here. So we've got a Sony DAB radio and a Sunbeam shaver. Now this shaver looks wicked, doesn't it? Look at the age on it. Oh, I'll always pick up shavers, especially like weird and wonderful looking ones. Ones that look like pistols for a start. Nice little wood finish. I do think it's broken because that top bit won't stay on. But I paid him £5 for the DAB radio and that. The DAB radio does need an aerial. So if I can get an aerial for it for under three quid, I will sell that for about £25. That is going to have to go as a prop. If you ever get things that don't work and they're of an age of an era or something, put prop in the title. Type in movie prop. It really does open the scope because you do have production companies looking for stuff. So I'll put prop in the title. It could, it's an, an, a barber shop might buy it and have it on display. Do you know what I mean, I, I would if I had a barber shop and I wanted stuff like that. Um, I also forgot to show you. I'm always running, I'm always running out of stuff. It's crazy, isn't it? Ferguson. So I paid the guy. Oh, this came as part of the bundle as well. Um, no, where is it? Yeah, I paid the guy. Seven pounds. I don't know why I didn't. I should have looked at it all. I didn't look properly at all. I basically threw money away, but I was t I was interested in the other one. I'll show you. Wow, look at that. Um, Ferguson radio and this Sony ICF solid state radio. That's what I wanted mainly. He wanted five and four. I got him to do me both for seven. I think the footage will show. I can't remember. This needs an aerial fixing. The chance of it working slim. If it does work, I don't really know, but Sony and it's solid state, so I had to have it. I've just seen that. Oh, I got ripped. I think I got ripped today. Ripped myself off. Right. Um. I think. Oh no, we got. Oh, I've got a box of badges again. I paid two pounds for a big box of badges. And in there, I've just looked at them. Uh, we've got a eighties. They're all eighties era. We've got an eighties David Bowie badge. I'd imagine there's eight or nine quid back on that. And we've got two of these Imp Girl Guides badges, probably 10 quid for the pair, five, six quid each. And this is a weird one. It's, I don't know if it's a band or not. It's a bit controversial. Guernsey Inbreds, Inubriate Tour, 1986. I don't know if that was a local band. I have had a quick look, but I couldn't find anything. So there's my money back there. We've got a silver ring. I don't think it's real, but this was in the bag. I don't remember buying that. So I must have come with something that's fell out or something. And this, I think, is awesome. So it's 1972, in the box, Fred Flintstone plush. It does come out. It's all uh, great condition. This came as part of the deal. I think I, no, actually, I think I paid £3 for this on its own, or £2 from the house clearance guy. Looking back, I should have stayed there even more because he had loads of cool stuff, but it is what it is. And that concludes... Everything that I picked up. Do you see what I mean? I thought, I thought I'd got loads today. I need to go and check the car. And I can't wait to check the footage to see if I actually bought more stuff. Probably not. Probably, that's probably all I've got. Bizarre. Either way, I don't know what I've spent, but I'm going to make some profit. Not as much as I thought I was going to all around. I was feeling real cocky today. I was feeling like, yeah, boy. Um, but I'm happy. And I've got a few things that I wanted to do today, so I couldn't be out all day. So, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video and I really do hope there's some great brain footage to show you. <laughs> Take care, love you all. Bye.